Dear friends and followers, today we're going to be talking about what is reverse thrust and when do we use it? Okay, I'm going to break it down into the absolute basics. Reverse thrust is used to slow down the aircraft on the runway after touchdown. There are three main components which slow down the airplane on the runway. Primary is braking with disc or carbon brakes and which are similar to your car. Secondary is reverse thrust, what we're going to talk about today. Third is with aerodynamical braking with the ground spoilers. So we have two words in reverse thrust. It's reverse because the turbine's output is being guided into the reverse direction and as you might not know, we apply thrust in order to increase the braking action. So let's look at this video to see what happens at touchdown. Here you can see the engine number one of an Airbus A320. At touchdown, these flaps open up so-called reverser doors. They act as guiding vanes in the midsection of the bypass channel of the turbine and force the accelerated air of the fan into the opposite direction. Now, these reverser doors don't open automatically at touchdown. No, you're gonna have to lift up these little levers which activate the hydraulic system to apply pressure to the actuator which then opens the reverser doors. Keeping the levers in this position will only give you idle reverse. But as soon as you remove the thrust levers to the aft position, the engine will spool up, creating more thrust, increasing reverse output. The engines will increase thrust up to 70%, which then resembles in full reverse thrust. I know it sounds a bit odd that we actually apply thrust again just after touchdown. But you can definitely hear the difference between idle and full reverse thrust, trust me. Using the reverser significantly decreases the landing distance, varying between aircraft weight and environmental factors. If you look at this great video here, showing a Boeing 747 touching down and applying full reverse thrust, you can clearly see how the water on the runway actually gets blown forwards so, to the aircraft. I actually experienced that myself landing on a snow covered runway. We applied full reverse thrust and you can literally see the snow blowing in front of the aircraft. So when do we use reverse thrust? Using idle reverse at touchdown is mandatory by many aircraft manufacturers and airlines. First and foremost, to immediately decrease the aircraft speed and to stabilize the aircraft's rollout plus to reduce the brake usage. Landing on wet or snow contaminated runways using reverse thrust is absolutely vital to decelerate the aircraft and preventing it from skidding and keeping it in a straight line. Full reverse thrust is not permitted at some airports due to noise abatement procedures or at least are restricted in between hours from then to then. Nevertheless, pilots can use full reverse thrust when deemed necessary, but might have to state that in their decision in a report. Airplanes with wing-mounted engines may only use full reverse thrust until slowing down to specified speed, because using the reverses below that speed could blow up loose gravel on the runway, which could get sucked into the engine and damage the turbine. For example, on an Airbus A320, you would have to reduce full reverse thrust to idle reverse at 70 knots and retract the reverses at a speed of below 40 knots. There are many different reverser types out there, but all work after the basic principle by forcing the air or even actually the exhaust into the opposite direction. So I hope I've answered another aviation related question for you. If you have a question that's been on your mind, don't hesitate to write me. Therefore, subscribe my channel, check out my website and spread the word. <laughs> Farewell, your Captain Joe.
Fairly often, you see executive jets using reverse thrust during taxi to reduce brake usage whilst rolling down a sloping taxiway. Because of their high mounted engines, pilots don't need to worry about damaging the turbine due to the gravel on the asphalt. And the well-known MD-80 with her rear-mounted engines used to have a power back procedure <laughs> where they used reverse thrust to back out of a gate position. I'm not 100% sure if that procedure is still out there. Maybe you know. To me, it looks really dangerous because you have no clue where you're actually rolling. So, <laughs> that'll be that. <laughs>